<laughs> it feels really uh, funny. So this is such a great news. We're that back. You got We're you back. back. It's great. And you so feels really good. Busy. Yes. I mean, we've we've had nine years of we've had nine years of rest now, so we can be busy. We're building all the things that you know we really ourselves wanted. Like when Pebble ceased to exist in 2016. I've been tr like since then. I've been trying to find a smartwatch that would replace that would replace Pebble, and I haven't. So I had to create my own. I had to create another Pebble. So Pebble for me is a smartwatch that doesn't take itself too seriously. It's a smartwatch that doesn't say you have to have like a whole uh, phone on your wrist. It does a couple things really, really well. It's got an e-paper screen. The battery life lasts for a month. You see notifications. Uh, you can control your music. There's an AI feature, but it doesn't do everything, and that's okay. Like, it has basic health tracking, like you can do step tracking and sleep tracking, but it doesn't try to do everything. It doesn't have a SIM card. It doesn't have, you know, every single feature in the it's world. It's like smart. It's, it's what smart watch should be. Yeah. Uh, is it, I remember there was was it memory LCD with a sharp yes. that you were working with before. We do. We have. Is memory it still LCD. now? It's still memory LCD. Sharp. Exactly. Sharp memory and LCD. And this is what happened since the, the round one to the round two. How can it get so much better? Oh yeah, got the other. Do you want to see the old uh, old one? So this is the uh, this is the comparison. So this is. Uh, Don't want me for an. You're right. Round uh, Pebble Time Round and Pebble Round Two. Yeah, it's. So uh, no, no, the bezel is gone. The bezel's gone. Uh, the screen looks much blacker and much much darker, so there's higher contrast. And the battery life. This battery life was three days. This one is two weeks. It, it looks so great with the natural light. Around. Thank you. Outdoors must yes. be just fantastic. It's, it's great. Yeah, and there's a backlight, so if you need to see it, you know, when it's dark, you just flick your wrist and you can get that. Yeah. So Google are really nice dudes, right? We're very appreciative to what Google. So the story is that Pebble was acquired by Fitbit, and then Fitbit was acquired by Google, and so Pebble, you know, became part of Google. They weren't doing anything with it. They weren't building any new Pebbles, but we asked them very nicely if they could uh, open source Pebble's operating system, and they said yes. They're so nice. It's very great. Nice. So we and we thank Google very much for that. And what's the team here? I see you have colleagues here yes. at the CS. Well, it's a very small group. There's just a couple of us. It's mostly an open source project because now the, the operating system on Pebble is open source and the mobile application is open source as well. What's the SOC development from nine years ago to now? Oh, the battery, the power consumption is 10 times better, 10 times, 10 times smaller than it used to be. So that's why the battery life is so much better. The battery life on the Pebble Time 2 is three to four weeks. So you, you charge, you forget to charge it again, it just still works. Yeah. Uh, so you say open source, can you talk a little bit about the Artas? Like, uh, what's the, it's not an embedded Linux. What's no, the, you're right, what's it's an Artas. System? It uses uh, free Artas. Uh, free Artas is the underlying scheduler and kernel, and then we've built our own UI framework on top of that. And it's not open source. We hope that other people build on top of Pebble OS as well. And uh, one thing, one app I hope for. Yes. Uh, because now there's all these cool AI chatbots. And I'd like to see uh, one click to trigger my AI chatbot. Yes. And just like uh, smartly respond. So you're, you're leading into our second product. Our second product that we just announced is called Pebble Index 01. It's a ring that has a button, a microphone, you can talk into it, and it has an AI assistant that you can talk to. It's designed to help you remember things. Like during the day, if I have an idea, if I don't write it down immediately, it'll just, I'll forget it. So this is for remembering things during the day. You can also talk to AI through it as well. It makes me want to get married again, just to get a new ring. No, I haven't seen anyone propose yet with this one. I, it's gonna happen, right? There's a lot of fans. A lot of fans, and what are they saying in the last few weeks, last few months? I think people are excited. I think a lot of people are like me. They feel underserved by the current set of smartwatches. They want something slightly different. They want something different, like uh, 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 and when you do uh, black and white or color, the the, the visibility, the sharpness, Contrast, yes, it stays as good in the color versions, right? Yes. You don't reduce. especially especially the round two. All right, that's so cool. But you couldn't put a speaker on the round. There was no space for it. No, we didn't fit it in. We've got a we've got a speaker on the side of the time two, right there, um, and a heart rate monitor on. The
on the back of the time tube. We didn't fit those in because with the round two, we wanted to make it as thin as physically possible. And the apps are very small kilobytes add-ons, yes. right? It's not a big thing to add apps. Yes. Is there any chance AI is going to help people re-optimize apps, make yes. new apps? I use it to make apps. I use it to make apps and watch faces. It's amazing. Claude code is fantastic. Yes. So if people have ideas, they can just go on AI, create an app for it. One Boom. of the dreams that we have is being able to talk into your watch and have it create the app on your watch as you're talking into it. But that's a future dream. Something will and there's a lot of pre-orders, people getting the yes. first, the, the duo now, they're yes. getting it, right? We've shipped out all of the duos, they're all, all shipped out. Uh, we're taking pre-orders for the time two, for the round two now. And people can choose, if they put a pre-order there, they can Just switch it. Yes, you, you said that, right? Yeah. Cool. So, um, it's going to be huge, right? 2026? I think it's going to be... It's going to be good. We're not trying to go big. There's no startup here. You know, there's no investors. It's just a couple guys who really like making gadgets. Honestly, that's what we're Could doing. Can you just take a little bit about the open source community? How do you work with them to, to so do all, all of this, the, the next steps? All the rebel the guys. All of the software that we make is open source. The, uh, the firmware on the watch, the mobile application is open source. Um, it's completely different than the first time around. During the first era of Pebble, we didn't have anything that was open source, really. And so now we're we're doing all of our development in the open. I'm excited. We're taking community contributions, and I think it's a chance for people to build their dreams into, into Pebble. Because I want to have an app where I just click, and the AI fits the response within the size of the display. That and would just, be pretty cool. And then uh, also respond using my prompts on the AI. You know, like uh, one of the. You should build it. Have, you should add it. I'm gonna go check it out. Yes. Cool. Thanks a lot. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you.